and welcome back to an episode of Himoto Umahu-chan SR. We begin with the S, ending with the R. Last time we, uh, I guess we got a little tidbit about Umaru's beta design. And just a little joke about the other Umaru's just being needy and lazy at the same time. And the one shot being a bit more annoying of a character. <laughs> and, the act and the actual season 2 episode, I guess just reintroduction to our main three girls. Yeah, that was pretty much it. We drew a ball game and... Pulling weeds. So I guess with that said, let's begin with S episode two in three, two, one, go. Happy now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Pickled radish. <laughs> okay. Well, food is kind of all popular in all types of regions. When you go to somewhere and ask for their specialties, most of the time probably food, unless there's... Uh... Yes. Oh, it's food. It's easy. Uh, <laughs> don't think the um, poster girl would do everything. Ah. Uh. No, 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 um. I think that's a different. Yeah. <laughs> Is this just an offer calling out to, hey, if you want me to draw you a fucking promo, <laughs> promo girl, just call. <laughs> I really need the money. <laughs> well, I guess next time is Kiri. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm, that's just the guess I'm gonna throw out since Ebina appeared last time in the window. And this time is Kiri. <laughs> ah. That's something. Just more of her character. Just the uh, n n naive, innocent, but well, the a, a bit more well developed than the other cast members' fan service character. Ah, well, let's get to episode two. In three, two, one. Did you just agree to that unconsciously? Strange refusal. Bit harsh there. Even if you didn't mean that so. Fuck is this? Is this just a sign of nowhere? Going off? I think so. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Ning Wani. So she to say, Kit, I shall G and do kiss I. Go out of potato, tie, die. Got it, tight, so you need no dare. And so, theater, tie, yo, 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 you know, Maru, I know this personally, but if you stay up way too late, one day you're gonna have a crash. I know because I did, I had that every single time. Uh, for like a few years ago, I still haven't finished that. I, I, I still haven't fucking uh, stomped out that ha- uh, habit of going to bed late. I just got used to it. My body just got used to it. Like, yeah, my body may crash sometimes, like being feeling very sleepy and all that, but... Eh, it's not that bad. Alex. <laughs> that is... It's Sophie's brother. Hmm. They're both anime fans. Okay. Guess this is how Alice is gonna get along with Umaru. <laughs> it's an otaku! Yeah, both of them are toka- otakus. That is definitely Alex. It's a taku. So, ah, uh, this is this. Ah! Uh. Apart from being blah on itself, like blue. And what? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I think everybody. I think like not. I guess not. You shouldn't assume everybody in Japan like is a fan of anime. Definitely, like not everybody here is a fan of cartoons and all that. But at least people in Japan definitely have to know that anime is not just for children, right? Unless you're like... Like, very old-fashioned. Like, if you grow in a modern era, you must know that anime is not just for children. Like, anime may not be for you, but... Don't just quite dis- things like that. Like cartoons can't are mostly for children, but not all of them are. Yes, the attractions of otakus to otakus. Yeah, that's definitely. No oh, special hire. Uh. Ah. Uh, are you a spy for Daco? I see a Korko spy for that girl that the, the boss that likes. Domo. Doma. I. Is he picking me that feel that, that great? 
Speaking too much is bad for your ears. Ears need wax. Oh no, he's gonna step on. You can fix it with some glue, it's still usable. <laughs> You're gonna pick your ears again, really? Deal with it. You shouldn't do it too long. Uh, you shouldn't do it. Okay. The <laughs> one is already, the one is just slacking. <laughs> right, it's back from work. Is it really that bad? For so, to go on for a whole day? Hmm. That's a lot of ear picks. Is that the blower sucker type? Okay. Flash. Ah. I don't think that quite would quite work unless you have a mirror or a camera inside to take like an ear pick. Which are ear pick cameras. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, well, this time it's your mother or your lover. <laughs> That's it. Where you at? Softless worker. Just rumors. Capcom. <sighs> Still worry of her. And that's probably the episode. Maybe. We talked to her like this before. Time where. The time you fucking. The time you ate the screen with her.
Ah. Have you seen our place before? I thought it would be more... Western. It's a secret code. <laughs> Step wrong. It explodes. Yes, you are. Hmm. Um. Um. <laughs> Not something you were. Pace outside of a room, especially those body pillow types or whatever. What the fuck do it in your inside of your room? You fucking degenerate. Oh, a movie theater. Oh, a library. Math. That's <laughs> she can't know that. I also have some midterms going. I don't know, well, the second midterm is coming up. Ah, uh, fucking quantum mechanics. Ah, yeah, that is your fucking world. They confusing you and Sophie? Really? One well, has fucking blue hair. How the fuck did you get confused between Sophie and Umaru? Uma <laughs> How how long was that telephone game going on? Uh, what part did it get switched? It's always time for spring cleaning. Okay. That's all because of you. That's a problem. Well, that's that's not a that did thing. Yeah. Okay, ordering things. Manga references. It's <laughs> a lot of remote controls. Well, one part. Hartman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad thing. Yeah. Unless you want to lose something and then you have to spend an hour looking for it when you want to play it again.
Hm. <laughs> and then me gets tossed in three, two, one. And the answer is no. Is she actually going to do it? A Monster Hunter case, obviously. It says Monster Hunter 5, right on it. Do you not find anything more to do than cleaning? Do you have nothing really much more to do? This is something on your computer. There's them all. It is a play, a big place. When people gather. It's designed to be a second home or second social gathering place for people. Literally from the mouth of trade of malls. For what movie? No, oh, she's more modern after popcorn. For what movie? Oh, it is a movie theater. Hmm. <laughs> You could have eaten before going in the movie hall. Oh. Ah. Conan. Precure, okay. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, that's fucking Sean the Dead. No. It's Umaru. I don't get people who, like, eat and drink, like, a lot during the movies. Like, I'm fine with somebody, like, drinking. And eating a little. But just going for the movies, just eat popcorn and drink cola and soda? No! You need to see the movie. Not eat and drink. <laughs> the fuck was that? Duck? It's also duck up. <laughs> Conan uh, Depends on which movie Depends on the movie Some movies just really don't give you clues and all that shit 
to solve the uh, corporate Why boobs? Mm, why this show? Really fans of fans of his character. Fans of his character. That was it. Did that movie totally take place in one place? Was it though? Was it? Mm. You know, I feel like a lot of movies, mystery movies maybe, or at least quite a lot of them, it probably are afraid to put in like a lot of clues or enough clues to to have people able to guess what the ending is who, or, who's co or who the culprit is. Which kind of makes sense, but it also kind of sucks. But mystery movie is definitely put enough clues that you can solve the mystery without, like, uh, watching movie first. Like, you, sh you should be able to figure it out. Like... Like, like not, not an average viewer should be able to figure it out, but someone who actually is trying to pay attention to all that should be able to figure it out uh, on first time watching. And no fucking plot twists. <laughs> should follow logic. The plot twist should be probably predictable, but again, not by the average viewer, but by actual act people actually pay attention to wanting to solve the mystery themselves. But, nah, I don't know. Maybe there there's a lot of movies that do that and I just don't pay attention enough. Okay! <laughs> okay. 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 Well... Again, not a very good episode of Umaru. Uh, for me, uh, well, there's not much more to say. Yeah, no, there's not. It's Umaru. <laughs> so, guess what? That's it. That'll be a special episode of Umaru. You know, well, Hima, Himato, Umaru, Chan. S R. Episode 2. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And here are the people who decided to sell out their souls. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs>